Hello again, it's Keith James with 961 in the mornings and your host for how to solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes. So last time we talked about that, in fact, you don't have to be very smart at all to solve it. And we, instead of thinking about solving each side individually, we think about solving it in three individual layers there. Okay, so today we're going to do the first step that will help us solve one of the layers, like this one right here. So that step is called the daisy. As you can see, I've got a yellow center and four white edge pieces to mimic what it looks like for to have a daisy. So we're going to build this right now, but to do that, I've got to mix it up first. So while I'm doing that, find your Rubik's Cube, get that yellow center and move it to the top. From now on, the yellow center is always going to be on top of the cube from now all the way through till we solve the entire thing. So yellow center goes on top. Okay, so you can look at it. You, I can see mine. Can you see yours? yellow center and all the edge pieces are now away from the yellow center which is what we want for right now so I can show you how to put them there and we're gonna look around the cube and there I see two edge pieces in the middle layer which is the best place for them to be in order to make the daisy and I'll show you why because you could probably see there's your yellow and there's your edge well guess what I just want to move it up and look I've got another one there too we lucked out this time and I've already got two edge pieces so looking around I see that I've got another edge piece right here in the middle layer and again just like I did with the other two just flip it right into place don't worry about that corner piece doesn't matter what color it is right now we're looking for the other edge piece where is it ah it's on the bottom okay so here is my top on the bottom is the other edge piece and you know what I can just flip that right into place too just like that and now we have the yellow daisy. Gonna do it again because there's some other things that can kind of pop up too to make it a little harder to solve for the daisy but uh, this is the easiest portion of the cube solve and hopefully we can get you to do it really easily too. So once again mixing everything up make sure the yellow center is on top and everything else is gonna go great from there. Okay yellow center looking for my edge pieces. Okay let's see there's one right there just like before gonna flip it right up into place. Looking for another edge. There's one again. It has to be in the in the middle layer and you can just flip it up nice and easy. We got two petals now of that daisy. Looking for more. Okay, my other two edge pieces are on the bottom there. So I'm going to look. There's one right there. It can go right up into this place here. Boom! There's my third petal and here's my fourth one. But if I flip my fourth one into place, you see how there's already a petal in place up here? I can't do that. So what I got to do is scoot the empty petal right there, empty edge, and then flip it up one more time. And again, we have the daisy nice and neat. So there's one more thing you're going to come up against, which is something like this, where you've got the edge piece like that. You moved it into place, but as you can see, it's, it's in the wrong place. So again, move it to the middle layer because that's where you want it. That's where you can do stuff with. And as you can see, it's in the middle layer, but it's not in the quite right spot. So I'm going to move my top layer until something is empty and then slide it right in. Once again, the daisy. That's all you need to do. That's step one. Get that done. And then we're going to talk about what to do next. In fact, we're going to make the white cross after we do this. So I'm Keith James with 961 in the mornings, helping you to solve this thing in under two minutes. Hopefully you like that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future episodes because I'm going to be cranking them out every couple of days. So we'll see you next time.